across the area. Our Stephen Moody with the story. The grounds on Cody Road is once again home to Project Homeless Connect. Services available include legal assistance, housing, and employment, and it takes a team effort to get it done. It has built on itself. It continues to build on itself. Um, and I think it's because people see that there's a lot of value that comes in the community coming together with a very visible act of kindness. Groups also handed out hygiene supplies and clothing, and Aaliyah was on hand to help with state-issued IDs. USA Health was also on hand for the ninth year in a row to assist. As far as USA goes, we coordinate um, the student activity and involvement in this event. Um, it's really important for them because there's a lot of bias. A lot of people just don't know much about the homeless clients. And so it's really important for them to see that they are just people like us. You know, they're just on hard times. And the response from those who benefit from this event makes it all worthwhile. If they have health problems, a lot of times they don't trust the medical um, community, you know, that maybe they've had a bad experience. And so we want them to see friendly faces um, and get the services they need. Someone will come up to me at some point and say, you know, I, I can't tell you how much this meant to me. I was able to get an ID. I could see an attorney uh, and get some things uh, sorted out. Uh, these are the kind of things that, that would not happen otherwise. Wow, great, man. That's great, right? The homeless people got no, those no, free no, no. IDs hey. in the Gulf South. That's I thought that didn't exist. That's a racist white man right there, Act. Mm -hmm. You tripping. <laughs> yeah, that's good, man. Salute to them, man. A judge in Mobile today denying bond for Jamoris Pierce, the third man accused of shooting at a Walmart last month. Police arrested him Thursday night. Pierce was out on bond in a murder case during that Walmart shooting. Even before Hold on. Of course he was. <laughs> that moment. Jesus Christ, that happens quick. A judge in Mobile today denying bond for Jamoris Pierce, the third man accused of shooting at a Walmart last month. Police arrested him Thursday night. Pierce was out on bond in a murder case during that Walmart shooting. Even before his arrest, though, a judge had revoked his bond in a murder case after an arrest warrant was issued in the Walmart case. Pierce's lawyer in the murder case says he's not sure if he will represent him on these new charges. But he tells Fox News that the murder is, quote, very defensible and it involves defending his sister in 2019. Hey, I mean, hey. He was just defending Everybody his sister. Everybody loved him in the community. He always wanted mm -hmm. to help people. That's all he wanted to do. He looks like a noble soul. That's it. <laughs> More local breaking news now. Thomas Earl Thomas Jr., the man accused of sparking a mass shooting on down in downtown on New Year's Eve, now faces federal charges. A grand jury has indicted Thomas on charges of... Thomas Earl Thomas Jr.? There was a mass shooting in Mobile on New Year's Eve. I didn't know that. More local breaking news now. Thomas Earl Thomas Jr., the man accused of sparking a mass shooting on down in downtown on New Year's Eve, now faces federal charges. A grand jury has indicted Thomas on charges of illegal possession of a machine gun and possession of an unregistered firearm. Prosecutors allege that the gun he fired also had a so-called Glock switch, which transforms a semi-automatic <laughs> weapon into a fully automatic gun. If convicted, Thomas faces a maximum of 10 years in prison. Damn, a maximum. What? That's the most Damn. you can get. Damn, that might yeah. be my folks. My last name, Thomas. Uh, yeah. You never know. Uh, that be you, man. Fuck. Wow. More Walmart. Get out of my face. What Get out my face. He's of opening fire inside a Walmart. Not happy about getting all the attention. like a nice kid. <laughs> yeah, man. Net, net positive well, ice cube right with a little here. bit of buckwheat. Yeah, man, little sweet kid, man. Get out of my face. One of the teens accused of opening fire inside a Walmart, not happy about getting all the attention, 19-year-old Jamoris Pierce arrested late this afternoon. Yeah, this happening just hours after I profiled Pierce on Fox 10 News Fugitive Files. Police say he's been on the run since two people were shot at the Beltline Walmart last month. Pierce, one of three people accused in that shocking crime. Ariel Mallory is live at Metro tonight. And Ariel, yeah. you've got some okay. late breaking news in this case. Yeah, I do, Lenise and Byron. Two of Pierce's family members have just been booked here at Metro, accused of helping him elude capture for nearly a month. Now, 24-year-old Jamika Pierce and 44-year-old Dan... I hit it. Hey, man. Hey, you got <laughs> it. Yeah, you, you good, man. 
All you, man. Uh, <laughs> Not oh. them. Oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Whoa, y'all switched to this. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, nearly a it. month now 24 year old jamika pierce and 44 year old danielle campbell are charged with first degree hindering prosecution jamar pierce is facing much more serious charges including attempted murder were you in walmart that night that you didn't get out my face is there anything you'd like to say to the victim's family Man. Jamar Pierce not wanting to answer any questions while he was on his way to Metro Bro, Jail this afternoon. Pierce is the last accused shooter Mobile Police have been looking oh for God. since two people. <laughs> <laughs> when school lets out, man, the community goes to shit, man. Like, Carmelo man. unadulterated. Hide and seek champions once it got dark. <laughs> Why they gotta fuck up my name, Jill Maurice? That's you your know? name? No, my name is Maurice. Oh, but you know, black people, John we gotta Maurice. add a Ja or a Isha somewhere. Le, Le, or Tell Mar, or some shit, <laughs> Wavy, some shit. I'm a, somebody need to chart that shit. All the, all of the, 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 the suffixes and prefixes. <laughs> the <there>. sun mixtures. <laughs> yeah, man. Somebody need to chart that shit. An etymological study of it. Yeah, it's crazy, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, like, damn, this is. And listen, like, man, you see these kids, and you're supposed to be like, oh, they're just kids. Like, no, these are not just kids. <laughs> you ain't seeing Carmelo at all if you turn the lights off. These are <laughs> fucking. These are fucking predators. For real. These kids Jamar. are, and they got bad attitudes, and they'll kill you in a hard. They're shooting into a Walmart. Just think about it: not shooting a person at the Walmart, shooting into the Walmart. Way to Metro Jail this afternoon. Pierce is the last accused shooter Mobile Police have been looking for since two people were shot inside this Beltline Walmart last month. Pierce, who's been on the run since, wasn't too happy as he was taken into custody. Are you at we're the Walmart? Just to ask. Yeah, I'm on the hey, we're just trying to ask you some questions. Uh, if you want to say anything before you go to jail. jail. <laughs> Police say these three men now all in jail, Carmelo Dirks, Darius Rouser, and Jamaris Pierce opened fire at the checkout line that night. A detective testified one innocent bystander was shot in the chest as she was holding her baby. Last night, Pierce was featured on Fox 10 News' Fugitive Files. Hours later, he's behind bars. You can on my face too. Mm -hmm. Now, Pierce is charged with attempted murder, assault, it's and it's reckless y'all made the guns look fancy. Live tonight at Metro yeah. Jail, Ariel Mallory, Fox 10 News. Yeah, they just made the guns more plain. These these guys would be in school and shit. And he hates life. It's rough. <laughs> yeah, you think he hates life? That guy hates yeah. his... He hates being locked up, but trust me, he don't hate life. That guy's... That guy got a better life than you, Mossy. You have what? problems. You do you care about things? You have worries, right? Yeah. You have, I mean, you have comes, responsibilities, right? Yeah, but that, that comes with loving that comes with loving life. I love my life. This guy <laughs> this guy nah, that guy <laughs> screws that guy screwed out of both pants legs. That guy <laughs> any any fucking fucking impulse or fucking vice or fucking urge that he needs to be itched or scratched. He can he gets it scratched or itched. The, That's a he's dog. Going to, he's going to jail. He's going to be in prison or jail, and he's going to be in there. Fucking, he'll be fine in jail. And, and that's, that, that's a problem. Me. That's a problem. He should be fine in jail. He should be miserable. But he's he not. Should be, he should be which absolutely is great miserable for him. In fact, make it make the guy home. The guy was leading him to the van. He should have just kept him there. They put the microphones in his face. You tell him, hey man, get them out. They tell him to get them out of his face. No, he should have kept him there. Let's let it sink in. And like less than the half hour of the case of that teenager involved in a deadly crash after police chase going to a grand jury. But after today's preliminary hearing, there's still more questions and answers. Our Dacian Smith is live with the story tonight. Dacian, you say he wasn't initially informed of his rights at the hospital. That's right. Now there's questions about well, what was said that that guy's not living his life. Think about how many times during the course of the day or during the course of the week. 
someone pisses you off and you just want to fucking blow their brains out or punch them in the face. Well, these guys, they just do it. <laughs> Think about that. Like, you never just want like, man, I'm going to fuck, man. I, this one fucking lucky, man. I got, I can't even, I can't go to jail, man. I fuck, I let that shit ride. That motherfucker, he doesn't live with all that turmoil. He doesn't go to bed at night feeling like, shit, I'm a coward. I should have fucking punched that guy. No, he shot that guy. It's, it's out of his system. He sleeps like a baby. Right. At the y'all, very y'all, least, he's calling people out of their name. <laughs> Yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all forgetting about like the base primal life. Y'all thinking about like, yeah, he doesn't have a four hundred one k, and he's doesn't, you know, he's he's not like <laughs> fucking no, don't care. He doesn't care about none of that. He he gets mad at you. He blows your brains out. Right. He's got three baby mamas. He can go over the house anytime and fuck them. He's got a. He's got a fucking legacy. He's got like five kids and shit at fucking 20. He, he fucking got a legacy. He could die today and he's got more kids than you'll have by the time you're fucking 80. And they probably, probably won't make it past 15. <laughs> Who knows? They might fucking play in the NBA. You never fucking know. I mean, hopefully. You know, I mean, ho- ho- hopefully. But, hopefully. But, but what I'm saying is don't sleep on these guys' lives. <laughs> like that man i've been around them they enjoy that shit they're nothing they're not victims they're not they enjoy that life am i right no, though sad. am i right it's, you're right it's I, sad for real I, because you you have to like it'll be a 14 year old kid a 14 year old kid he'll try you and if you have a wife and kids and you want to make it home and you don't know <laughs> if he has a gun, you have to play play by his game and just kind of let it go or whatever. Or, I mean, yeah. unless you're ready to take that risk. They enjoy this life, man. I'm not looking at I'm not looking at him like he's a victim. I'm saying it's a, it's a shame that he hates life, but oh well, he needs to be, he needs to be severely he punished. He doesn't hate life. He loves it. He hates your life. He doesn't care about life now. He's reckless and risky, and he doesn't care about it. He's that, not that's what, holding. That's what talking, he's not that's what squeezing about. life tight like you are. But he, he enjoys. He's somebody in his community. He's more of somebody in his community than you are, Marcy. You're I me mean, than I am. He's more. He's more. He's more of somebody in his little fucking world than I am in my world. Uh, so, Hidden so licks is fun dog. for them. Robbing old ladies is fun. I know. I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying it's not fun. I'm saying it's just it's a it's just it's a waste. It's just, it's, just, it's sad that a it's a waste. waste but what? What was he going to be other than that? What is he wasting? What is he wasting, Marcy? I see I what know. you're saying, Marcy. You, we, I, from our perspective, we care about our lives this way by. You know, not robbing people, not putting ourselves in, giving ourselves penitentiary chances, but that's the game to them. <laughs> I mean, conceivably, you could have saved this kid if you had gotten him at what, like eight, nine, maybe ten years old. But you get this threshold that you cross in the Sun community with these little kids. You got these kids killing people at like twelve, thirteen years old. That shit doesn't happen anywhere else. There's something fucking different here. Right. Let me just do this last story, man. And new for most of the half hour of the case of that teenager involved in a deadly crash after police chase going to a grand jury. But after today's preliminary hearing, there's still more questions than answers. Our Dacian Smith is live with the story tonight. Dacian, you say he wasn't initially informed of his rights at the hospital? That's right. Now there's questions about what exact what statements can be used in court, as well as other questions about when exactly that chase was terminated. Back in December, 18-year-old Josiah Franklin was arrested and charged with homicide by vehicle after a crash killed 19-year-old Kaylin Drain McAlpine, who was ejected from the back seat. She was getting ready to start college this month. She had dreams of going to... And she in the back seat of this guy's car while he's running from police. 
After yeah. a crash killed 19 year old, and look at his Drake fucking name, Mac. Was ejected from the back seat. She was getting ready to start college this month. She had dreams of going to the Navy. All that is gone. I would never know. What Kenyatta, see her like in five years. Despite the loss of her daughter, McAlpine. Whoa, that one, that's a mouthful, but Kenyatta, her daddy's name was Ken. Yeah, this is J J Josiah. Fine says she doesn't blame Franklin, who police say was driving that she night. She doesn't blame him for running from the police. I think Josiah's name, uh, daddy's name was Isaiah. <laughs> See what I'm saying, Marcy? If, if you were in a car with this girl in a fucking... 18 wheel of T-bones you she'd be fucking saying it was your fault she'd be Correct. cursing your fucking soul to eternity if you got T-boned by 18 wheeler with her daughter in the car I was saying it was a it's a waste <laughs> of a, fucking, saying it was a waste of a fucking guy's life. running for the police her daughter flies through the fucking front windshield and she doesn't fucking blame it <laughs> and you fucking saying, telling me you to feel sorry for these guys? Make it the fuck no, out. No, I didn't say anything like that. Life. I said it's, it's a waste of a life. She had not a waste uh, of their life, but just a waste of a waste of life itself. And that's what that's and that's what that's what that's what that's what's sad about. You know, it. How is it a waste of a life when like he's winning? He's doing what he's winning. We're all fucking. We're all fucking idiots, dude. We're all playing by the fucking <laughs> rules and shit, paying taxes and shit. We're going to <laughs> Not work on time crimes. and shit. And this dude is playing GTA. <laughs> then, tell, then tell me, why'd you stop your life of crime? I didn't have no life of crime. I just fucking was a fucking knucklehead. Why'd you stop? Why'd I stop? Because yeah. you just you just you just grow old. You just get older. You just get older. You just survive, and you get old. You don't die. Josiah Franklin was arrested and charged with homicide by vehicle after a crash killed 19-year-old Kaylin Drain McAlpine, who was ejected from the back seat. She was getting ready to start college this month. She had dreams of going to the Navy. All that is gone. I would never know what she'll look like in five years. Despite the loss of her daughter, McAlpine says she doesn't blame Franklin, who police say was driving that night. I don't have any ill will towards him. I don't. I don't uh, hate him. I love him. He know that. Mobile police officer testified that officers tried to pull Franklin over for not having a tag. The officer testified that speeds were reportedly as high as 100 miles an hour during the chase. Mobile police said the chase was terminated before Franklin lost control and crashed into a tree on Bear Fork Road near High Point Boulevard. But Franklin's attorney, Jason Darley, says they're still trying to figure out exactly when the chase was terminated. They say they terminated it, but the, the officer testified they were there within seconds, three to four seconds. Darley also questioned how much of Franklin's statements from that night can be used in court after an officer testified that he gave Franklin a citation before he allegedly started answering questions. There's an officer outside the door, which means he's not free to leave. Apparently, maybe some questioning occurred where Mr. Franklin made statements about the incident. And if he's not free to leave and he wasn't Mirandized, unless Mr. Franklin oh, waived those okay. statements, then oh my God. So at the, all the end of this, at the end of all of this, this this wild police chase with this young lady dying, you the police are being questioned because they asked them questions without reading his rights, and they're being also questioned about when did they stop the chase because they shouldn't have been chasing him. So let me get this straight. Mom says it's all good. She loves him. Uh, the system's not going to do shit because the officer stood outside the door for a minute. Uh, fuck Josiah, Josiah, or whatever the fuck. You know, your your life right. was pointless. Right. And 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 here here's the thing. People like Marcy think that this guy is like lit. Like their life is so much better than this guy's life. This guy's winning. I promise you, he's. He's well, I, winning. I would. I don't want to be living this dude's life. No, I be, I'm on Masi's no, side. Thing, cause, I think. No, listen, listen, listen to what I'm saying, though. Listen, listen to what I'm saying. For his life, all right. You, you familiar with like Division One versus Division Two, right? Yeah. Say you say you a Division One play player. You got Kentucky. You sitting on the end of the bench, right? You got a scholarship to go Kentucky, but you on the end of the bench. And I go to fucking Moorhead State. But I'm scoring 30 a night and I'm fucking all the cheerleaders. <laughs> I, you know, yeah, I you go to yeah. yeah, you go to Kentucky. You go to Kentucky. So yeah, you win in that regard. But I'm 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 fucking big man on campus. I'm it fucking depends, all the cheerleaders. It, yeah, it depends on what's important to you, I suppose. And 
each everybody's got different shit that's important. Exactly. You're talking about worth life worth by your standard. Their standard is fucking doing what they're doing over here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's sure. their standard of winning. Yeah, man. Franklin's statements from that night can be used in court after an officer testified that he gave Franklin a citation before he allegedly started answering questions. There's an officer outside the door, which means he's not free to leave. Apparently, maybe some questioning occurred where Mr. Franklin made statements about the incident. And if he's not free to leave and he wasn't Mirandized, unless Mr. Franklin waived those statements, then you have a situation where the statement was not taken freely knowingly and voluntarily under a waiver district attorney keith blackwood wouldn't comment on when exactly franklin was mirandized but said the case is still moving forward it's an ongoing investigation and uh there was a there was probable cause uh to send the case to the grand jury uh the judge heard the evidence found that there was probable cause And Darley did also mention that they're still working to get cell phone records, body camera footage from the officers involved in that chase, as well as the black box from the Toyota that Frank. All right. Good night, guys. See you tomorrow. Peace out. Peace out. Take care, y'all. All right. It wasn't his fault, Act. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for putting up with me, guys. Bye. All right. Peace out. All right. Peace out.